Hello, hello, my friends. Um, we have not done any molds together in quite some time, and I am kind of running low on things at retail, so I need to get some molds done. So I'm going to do one of my turtles with alcohol ink. This is going to be a two-phase process, most likely. I may get to putting the clear on top right now. I haven't decided yet, so I'm going to get my inks and get to mixing. All right, so I have a bunch of cups of resin ready. Um, I have a bunch of inks grabbed. Any browns will do for your sandy layer. Any blues will do for your water. Just grab whatever colors you like. Some of these I can't even read the names on the bottles anymore, so. But this one is Laguna from Tim Holtz. I do know that much. But get your inks mixed in. And the fun part about these is they don't have to be like super saturated. It's okay if they look watery when you're done. This is Lake from Pixis. Aqua Green from Marabou. And I think I'm actually going to split this in half because sometimes the Marabous are pretty thin. And I might not like it. And this one actually looks pretty similar to the Laguna. So. Uh, this one is a monsoon from Tim Holtz. A little bit darker than I normally use in oceany ones. But it's fine. This mold holds like 20 ounces of resin, so I'm mixing a ton. I don't know exactly how much I've mixed so far. I won't know until the end. I'm using Woody's Goodies Tropical Mermaid here. And this one is also very similar to those. I somehow ended up without any like really aqua aqua looking ones. But I think I might have one I can grab. This is the Marabou Aqua, like actual aqua, so I'm going to mix some of that up. And then I'm going to mix my sandy one. Okay. So I do have my turtle on a board on a thingy. I'm going to kind of decide what direction I'm going to have it go first. And I am going to mix two browns in one cup and just kind of swirl it a little bit. So... Alright, I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with my darker blues towards what's going to be the top. And you do have to kind of um, work them in layers a little bit. Because they're going to spread as you go. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead and put my sand in this flipper and a little bit down here. I'm going to try and push some of that back. And 
and I'm just going to keep filling. I don't want this quite to the top because I'm going to add some blue or yeah, white waves to it. So. It's going to get clear and white down the road. But I am going to use most of what I mixed, except for I'm not going to use all of the brown, most likely. I do want it close to full, I just don't want it completely full. Actually, I think I did pretty good. Got some more brown down here. Kind of mixing that green into the brown a little bit just to um, level it off a touch. Come back in with some more of this monsoon color. Okay, so. That is full enough. I'm going to get this moved out of my way, clean up some of this mess, and I'm going to let this sit and cure overnight, most likely. I may come back later today. It depends on if I have time to do the top layer. I'm not going to remove it at that point. Um, it's just going to dry in here and then get the next layer right on top. Okay, time to finish this cutie up. So I have my resin mixed and I'm going to fill the mold most of the way. With just clear. Spread it out. Um, this is a basting spatula that I bought at Walmart and cut the basting brush off the end of. It works great for mixing in my big cups. And if I forget to wipe it off, the dried resin wipes right off pretty nicely. I'm trying not to overflow it, but I want to make sure the whole thing is coated. Or not to overflow too much anyways. I do need a little bit more in the head there. So I don't need a lot of white, so I'm just going to take a medicine cup and pour a little bit in and I'm going to use a little bit of my Alumilite white resin dye. And then just a couple of drops of my Pinata white alcohol ink. You can see the difference in densities. The dye sinks and the ink floats. And I'm just going to mix that up really well with my stir stick. It's 
So it's got a nice consistency to it. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to go right over the edge of the mold, most likely, with my lines of white. And I'm going to kind of do them at this angle. Because this is actually going to get, um, oh, stupid, um, a sawtooth hanger, like, on this shoulder somewhere. So it can actually hang on a wall this way. Like that way. So I'm going to kind of run the lines that direction. And don't forget to go over your fins. And don't do too, too much because you can take this back away, but you can't really add to it. So I'm going to take my heat gun, turn it on, turn the fan all the way up. I'm not going to turn this, the heat up anymore. And I'm just going to start blowing it out. And I am going to end up blowing some of this over the edge. It's just going to happen. I'm going to blow it backwards as well. Okay, so this is going to kind of morph and change as it sets up, but uh, that's it for now. I will come back and unmold it tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to get this turtle unmolded. I do have a little bit of overspill up here on this fin. Not a big deal. easily clean that up but I might have gone a little heavy on the white but I'm okay with that I think that looks great I'll just clean it up a little bit that's the back side if you wanted to see and there's the front and I will get a hanger on here and actually that heavier white will help hold hide the hanger, so that's perfect anyways. But there's a happy turtle all done. <laughs>